hello guys and again welcome so much to my channel uh, in the previous uh, playlist we did uh, tutorials on how to integrate mpesa into a laravel application and i saw a lot of people concerned and a lot of people seeking for help on how to integrate mpesa into uh, a certain application that is any any framework that you are using so uh, from today i want to start a another playlist on how to integrate mpesa into a node application node js and in node js application we are going to work with a express framework okay and the kind of integration that you are going to do is called lipa and mpesa online or commonly known as SDK push. So a brief history of Mpesa API is uh, when Mpesa began there was a, a G2. So this G2 API was running on SOAP uh, protocol and it made it very difficult for people to integrate Mpesa into applications. So Mpesa came up with the Raja API and this is a, a, a REST protocol, so REST protocol. So this came with a lot of advantages because uh, they added this uh, Lip and Mpesa online. Uh, online. And this is this part that uh, when somebody, maybe let's say that you have an e-commerce application. So when somebody clicks on a certain product, uh, what will happen is that M-Pesa is going to push an, a, a pop-up notification in your phone for the user to confirm by entering the PIN. So you will enter the PIN, you will read that you are paying this amount of money to this organization. So if you accept, you enter the PIN. And after that, uh, that uh, transaction will go on successfully and you can process uh, do the other process in the back end of your application so let's look at how you do it uh, with node.js okay now the first thing is to make sure that you have account in the developers portal so if you log into the if you just uh, Take you, you just write developer.safaricom.co.ke in your browser and hit enter. It's going to take you to the Safaricom developers portal. And on this portal, since we don't have a live pay bill number or till number, we have to utilize the Safaricom's development environment. So the Safaricom development environment, so the credentials, that development environment is called Sandbox, where they give you uh, whatever detail that you require to develop a, a prototype of your application and you can test it there. So this is the developer's portal. And there, as you can see, we are able to create applications. So let's say that we want to create another application the first thing you begin with, you just click on on add and then after clicking on add, it is going to take you to this interface where you have to enter the app name. Let's just call it node mpesa like that. And then you, uh, you click uh, you mark all these, I check, you check all these boxes and then you click on create app. Make sure you check all of them. And it will tell you that app has been created. And sure enough, you can see this is a new app. And after creating that, you find out that they have, award, they have given you the consumer key and the consumer secret. So the consumer key acts as your username and the consumer secret acts as your password. So if you take that here and password and then send to, to go to Postman and send that request to um, to Mpesa, it will respond with the telecredit and say that you want to, 
to get a token to respond to the token so that is maybe a brief introduction to to the safari component how to, to start so after creating this application in the sandbox you now have the test credentials so this is not a real application it's just for you to test for of how or to test how your or, or application will work when it is live so this credential they can give you and then you can be able to work with them and then when your application is live you can now use your you can now use your your pay bill number or till number right so they also give you the test credential so if you go to developer.safaricom.ca.ke slash test credentials you find out that they give you this Lipa Nempesa online short code uh, which represents now your tail number or pay bill number that you will use or the Safaricom Mpesa gives you after application and then you have this pass key so this pass key and this uh, Lipa and Mpesa online short code they are used to, to generate a password a B64 code en encoded password and this password we use it and sending the SDK push request so those who took uh, the, the Laravel uh, course uh, yeah, you are familiar with what I'm talking about and if not and you are maybe a Laravel developer and you want to know how to integrate Mpesa into your website or, or Laravel application you can check my channel it is Simon's Tech School and you have all those tutorials on how to integrate uh, Mpesa into a Laravel application so in this you are going to look at how to do the same but now not in Laravel but in Node.js and using Ex Express Framework okay so I think that is enough of introduction and then in the next section let us set up the, the Node.js Express project Thank you so much.